Hola. <laughs> I should be streaming. Yay. Yeah, it's streaming. Cool. Oh, there's no sound. <laughs> no sound. Now there's sound. We have sound. There we go. Ta-da! And Mike Stout just got online. Awesome. Perfect timing. <laughs> huzzah, huzzah. So yeah, I'm... Would you like me to go over... Um, my old save, uh, which has 39% and go over everything, or do you want me to start a new game? Uh, no, it's not for 100%, it's just to play the game. <laughs> which one do you want? New game, alright. New game, we've got free news. We have- oh, we've got an idea here! Awesome! Yeah! David, if you want to join in the call, by all means, uh, you can. Battle mode, I'll do battle mode another time stuff and things and blah 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 blah. Uh, so virtually you may want me to continue, but the majority says new, so new game it is. Sorry. Boop. Uh, I'll save over that, I don't need that. I can't remember why I created that save. I know I did it for something. I just don't remember what it is. Hello! I have been waiting for you. I am Eon, your guide in this world. I believe it was Golden Aids. <laughs> not Golden Hate. Not Golden Hids. Golden Hides. Golden Hide. It's some kind of rare thing you get in Skyrim. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Tealgate. It was Tealgate Basher. Golden Aids 3DS. Teal Banger 10. Psycho 7. And there was. Uh, there was another one, I can't remember what it was. But it was funny. How loud is it, by the way? Is it too loud? Too quiet? A great adventure awaits you, young portal master. I have sent my assistant, Hugo, to seek you out. We will speak again. Quiet, really? Because it sounds quite loud to me, but okay. <laughs> But fair enough. Wowzers, look at all these balloons. Wowzers. Parking's gonna be a snap. They're not just leaving, they're evacuating. Something is terribly wrong. Oh, Patrick Warburton, love it. Are you sure this is a good idea? Oh, I know why it's quiet, because my laptop's not as close. Yeah, I think, um, I think Hugo's Teddy from Persona 4, though I could be mistaken. Ultima Slut. <laughs> Does Hugo sound like Buzz Lightyear? He sounds nothing like Buzz Lightyear. Sure, if you want to do Rayman Origins, you do Rayman Origins. And I'm playing as Rainbow Dash with a turban. <laughs> Whoa! A Skylander! You've returned! Master Eon was right! That means you did find another Portal Master to help us. I, of course, never doubted it for a second. Yeah, 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 this game isn't that bad. You know, you know, this game you know, it's not that bad. When I do Skylander's Giants, I do plan on doing that. I'm gonna, at some point, I'm just gonna go. This isn't that bad. For the people who were annoyed when I said that in the first Let's Play, that was for you. I'm just gonna do that. It's just beautiful. But let's rainbow dash. Rainbows. Pegasus rainbow. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm just gonna turn down the game slightly. 
just a bit. Just Hello. Bit. Hello. How are you? Hello. Ah, uh, everyone. Up? This is Mike Stout. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is cool. Hello, Mike Stout. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I'm trying to pull up the uh, feed right now. Mm. It is an honor, good sir. Thank you, likewise. Ah, oh, this is... Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sorry, I'm, I'm st I still don't have the video feed. I'm trying to pull it up. Ah, oh, fair enough. Well, I've prepared a ton of questions, about 15 or so, and the rest of the chat can add some more afterwards. Um, so, yeah, it'll be quite good. Yeah, sounds like fun. Mm. Uh, of which, are we playing uh, Skylanders? Is that the plan? Yeah, playing it right now. Maybe able to hear the game audio. I don't know. It's a bit quiet. <laughs> She's a... I, I hear uh, yeah. Dion talking about using the action button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's the mob. We There we go. Yep, should be playing now. Shoot the cannon twice. Yeah, is that the cannon which gives you the hidden treasure? Or was that another cannon? Yeah, that is the, the, the yeah. Treasure. Yeah. So, uh, what was your job um, with developing uh, Skylanders? So I, I worked for Activision, mm. uh, and sort of I came in. Let's see. I think it was 2009. Mm -hmm. um, when the project was still very early, and uh, my job is. Uh, Basically, they fly me around through all the developers, and I help them, you know, uh, make the games. Right. And uh, with Skylanders, um, when I came in, it was still very early. Uh, all the game pretty much was then was combat. Um, there was a whole bunch of Skylanders that didn't, that you know, didn't make the cut. Mm. You know, there's like, uh, so, and there was a whole lot of work to do to get uh, to get the game fun and to get the game out the door. Mm. And so, uh, basically, what I what I did was. I spent about two days a week up in uh, Northern California and the rest of the time down in Southern California at Activision. Right. Uh, just helping Toys for Rob get it done. Fair enough. Uh, you, um, you worked on Resistance, didn't you? Um, for... I did. Yeah. Um, just Was it just the first one you worked on? Right. Yeah, I worked yeah. A, little, a little bit on the, on the second one, but then uh, it was only like two months and then I left to join Obsidian All right. Uh, working on a, a game that got cancelled, uh, an Aliens RPG. Right, uh, well how different was um, Resistance to Ratchet and Clank? Because like, they're, well they're somewhat similar in the respect where they both have weapons and whatnot and some of them are absurd um, uh, like they're very different surely because one's FPS and one's platformer <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it, it's it's a huge difference to design for a realistic, mature type game mm. than to design for yeah, uh, a game for kids. You know, yeah. But the Ratchet games, although people of all ages enjoy it, they were designed first and foremost for you know uh, the ten to twelve, ten to fourteen. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, and you know, for example, like in. Ratchet and Clank. If you if you need an elevator that has a rocket underneath it that sits in the middle of the room, well, that's fine. But yeah. in Resistance, you have to have reasons to have that. You know, you yeah. need to have uh, you need to under you need to understand the machinery behind it. Almost, it's really it's really a weird world. Mm. Doki Doku is thanking uh, you for Skylanders. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Doki Doku. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, the basic principles are always the same, right? You're making a game, and it's about, you know, coming up with interesting questions and things for the player to experience and, and, and learn and master. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's, you still get to use, you know. Ooh. Cutting out a little bit, I think. Oh, sorry. Oh. So, okay. I'm sure whatever it was wasn't that new. There we go. Uh, with, um, you said some of the uh, Skylanders were cut. Was, um, were some of them in Skylanders Giants? Or were they just completely cut and not used? Um, they were cut and not used. Ah, okay. uh, like, uh, did you ever play the Ice expansion? Uh, I think yes. you did. Yeah. 
I did all the expansions. You know that little wizard dude? In yes. The expansion? Yeah, he used to be, um, what's his name? Uh, Double Trouble. Oh, right. Yeah, he used to have a, a little laser, and he had little wizards that followed him around, and uh, he, he didn't prove to be a very popular-looking character, so we tried to make him cooler, you know, with a different... Hmm. Or, uh, there was a Skylander, it was like a one-head slime thing, and uh, he basically had the... He shot lightning bolts, like, um... What's the name of that new giant with shoots lightning bolts? Uh, the one that looks a bit like... Um, the god of lightning. <laughs> it sort of looks a bit like Zeus, was... that one. <laughs> uh, I can get him now. Um, let's see, does it say underneath? I can't see his... I'll bring him up, in fact, I'll say then. <laughs> see. He had the lightning throw power. Yeah. The wind with, uh... Oops. Man, I'm embarrassed now that I can't remember the name. It's not letting me... <laughs> it's not letting me put him on. I didn't register that Spyro was off, it's... that was weird. Is not oh that's, that's weird. <laughs> I can't put him on. Let's try now. There we go. Lightning rod. <laughs> Him. Lightning rod. That's. Hmm. Yeah. Lightning rod. Him. <laughs> but he had like the lightning bolt power of lightning rod combined with the the water slidey thing that uh, Zap has. Right. I mean, it's pretty much that. Mm. But he was a giant blue eyeball thing, you know. So stuff mm. like that. It was just mostly uh, we were tweaking them around to make them uh, more interesting. Or we found, you know, we found that one guy had two powers that made him the best. Then we mm. split those powers between two other guys. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, Thanks, Evil Dead. <laughs> mm. We've um. Uh, Skylanders Giants, do you just have do you have the same responsibilities as you did um with uh Skylanders Spirits Adventure or is it or have you got more responsibility or different types of jobs? It was the same thing, yeah. yeah. I mean uh, you know, I focused on different things on the second game, but uh, you know, it was yeah. flying over. Yeah. Why um why did you uh, move um from uh Insomniac? Did you just want a change of of uh, area, or or did you have a fallout with people, or what happened? It was kind of a combination of mm. many things, you know. Fair uh, I, uh, uh, the main reason, though, was that I just wanted to see how other places made games. Yeah. Sort of learn new ways of doing things and stuff like that. I'd been at Insomniac for five years at that point. Yeah. Did you work on Tools of Destruction as well, or was it... Um, I. No, I didn't, but uh, that's my favorite Ratchet game. Really? Yeah. The only one I didn't work on. Probably that's why. You know, like, when you work on the game, mm. you never get to enjoy it the same way a player does. Right, yeah. Because I really like Ratchet & Clank 3. I think everything in that game is just perfectly done. Um, I can't really find any faults with it. Um, Tools of Destruction I really liked as well. Um, I, f I preferred Crack in Time, though. Um, I tried... Back in time, I couldn't get all the way through, but I, I did like what they were doing yeah. with that game. It was very, like they were really trying to hit the story elements that they didn't hit in the first yeah. three rounds. Yeah, I, I I'm a sucker for Nefarious. Nefarious is just the best. So that when I saw him return, like and the final cutscene of Quest for Booty, I was just like, ah, ha, ha, yay! <laughs> so I was very happy and ready for for that game. So that's pretty much why. Oh, Wants to know why we changed how Spyro looked. Yeah, it's a good question, um, actually. Why? I, I wasn't part of that decision, uh, mm. and there were a lot of people who wanted him to stay the same, too. Mm. I think that the actual reason was uh, the old design of Spyro didn't look very good as a toy mounted on a little hemisphere. Right. Uh, it like it looked uh, fine, mm. but it didn't. It was the sort of toy that people buy nowadays. Right. Uh, because uh, he's sort of a little, he, you know, like, and I liked how friendly looking he was. It's yeah. just, uh, generally you want to put the toy in an aggressive pose, so. Mm. Yeah, I see what that you was, mean. Um, yeah, sorry, there, was there were, the, there were the, some, um, uh, images of in, from Insomniac Games that made him look somewhat, like, threatening. Um, there were yeah. some promotional images, which I think for Year of the Dragon, um, so I, 